hi guys welcome welcome back if you are returning welcome if you are new i just want to show you guys what set we're going to be recreating today um if you're new here i really like to show you guys how to recreate um gel press-ons to look like acrylic 90 percent of the nails that i recreate are from acrylic sets so i'm going to show you guys the the best colors the best gels the best everything to use the easiest ways to do stuff um and yeah just kind of learn how to make your gel nails look like acrylic so i'm going in first with this ombre gel from king of nail or enel couture um i have a couple colors from them and i absolutely love them they are some of my favorite favorite gels and so i'm just mixing up a uh, like a pinky white milky I don't know how to explain it but milky glittery like white pink color and that's gonna be the white color from the picture like the the ombre tip yeah so I will have everything linked down below of the colors that I used and it's so crazy because I just like grabbed these colors and then as I started mixing them it looked almost identical to what I needed. And it was just by, you know, like looking at some colors and just mixing, like it's so fun to mix. If you guys don't mix colors, you need to. <laughs> this is your sign, just mix it up, okay? Um, I believe I put in about either three to four colors. I don't know, I'll have them all listed down below though. Um, and this Winter White by Eye Gel is my absolute favorite favorite milky white it is my go-to um so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and continue mixing that up i'm also custom mixing the nude um because the nude was like a i don't know uh, like um i don't know how to explain it but i had to mix up the nude as well so i'm gonna link those down below and then just show you guys how i made this set there's airbrush there's 3d flowers there's bling there's frenchies there's literally everything in this set so yeah i will come back and talk to you guys in a minute so i was really trying hard to show you guys up close what that color was looking like but it was not it was not working it would not focus so i just it is what it is but i do show like a couple um like close-ups of the nail as it's painted on and then you guys can see the glitter and how pretty it is oh my gosh it came out so so pretty you guys are definitely going to want all of these colors and you're going to want to mix it up because it's so pretty so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and polish those i believe it starts to focus right here just to show you guys what it looks like um so i did three coats of that and then um yeah <laughs> Okay, so while those are curing, I'm going to go ahead and mix up that nude color really quick. It was like a really pretty, um, like shimmery nude. And I did actually mix it to go in the airbrush as well. I, I don't like to use glitter in the airbrush. It will clog it. But like a shimmery set with just like a little bit of shimmer, um, it, it, it's good. It doesn't do anything to it. So I also added a little tiny bit of like a pink um, just to make it like a like a pretty pinky nude tone and it honestly like I said everything in this video in this uh, like color whatever that I chose like everything worked out absolutely perfect for this set. 
it turned out so pretty and in the end of the video I'll show you guys what they look like applied I didn't get really any videos of them like boxed because I was transitioning into new boxes and I was trying to figure out how to like picture that like I don't know how to explain it but I got new boxes and I'm starting to do like bundles and stuff and so in the boxes they're clear so I had to make my own um, background and you know make a white background so that way you could see the nails and not the clear background confusing I know but so I didn't get very many good pictures of them in the box but my customer did send them on her fingers <laughs> and them applied and they look so cute like I absolutely love doing ombre and 3d and stuff um, and I actually have a video coming where I'm gonna show you guys the 3d flowers up close um, and like real time so that you can see exactly how long it like takes in this video I believe I sped it up but yeah I am gonna go ahead and take the um, like t like take it slow and show you guys step by step how to make the 3d um, gel flowers also really quick I have been wanting to play around more with the 3d gel so if you have anything in mind that you might want to see made I am down to try to create stuff not just flowers like I've seen 3d hearts 3d butterflies we're getting into fall so maybe some 3d pumpkins or um, a skeleton I don't know like if you guys think of anything or a 3d spider oh my gosh that would be super cool so if you guys think of anything comment it down below and that is gonna be one of the next videos after this video I'm actually doing five um, super cute fall um, fall designs super easy super cute I am so I'm doing that next and then after that if you guys want to see something that's not just 3d flowers if you want to see like um, like I said spiders skulls like whatever comment down below I am down to film that and just do some trial and error with you guys and show you guys and kind of show you guys like how to manipulate or use the gel because it it can be kind of hard like i've struggled in the past with getting the 3d gel to stick to the nails or getting it to be the perfect size or i don't know just little things it's definitely all trial and error like you're gonna have to sit down and really play with it as well but if i can help and kind of show you guys like how i've learned and what i do to you know make the 3d gel work for me I would love to help you guys because let me tell you 3d gel is so fun and so so easy and it's in my opinion it's way better than acrylic because it doesn't dry until you cure it so if you're not happy with the design or whatever you made don't cure it take it off the nail restart it's so simple and so easy so yeah like I said, comment down below um, if you want me to make some 3D little charms or whatever you want to call it, 3D art, um, and I will film that for you guys as well. I'm actually thinking that I am going to be ahead. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, I can't even believe I'm saying that right now, but I'm going to be ahead in videos. So I am thinking that before October I'll be on two videos a week for you guys like you guys I have so many ideas and I finally have the time to film and show you guys so anything and everything you ask it's getting filmed <laughs> and it will be up so yeah just let me know um, also really quick if you guys were watching I was doing this French these Frenches are definitely um, harder for me to do because I normally do Frenchies like like that right there like they're a deep V French but this particular um, set had like a <clears throat> like the V tip was like higher up on the nail um, like towards the middle because it had bling so I kind of struggled with that just because it's not like it's not the everyday French that I do I prefer like the deep V tip French but the way this 
set was it needed the space for like the bling and stuff which you'll see a little bit later in the video um so yeah but i did absolutely love how it turned out it was just it was definitely a challenge and frenchies are still they're always a challenge no matter what like i could do a french set quick but at the same time like there's always gonna be like two to three nails that i absolutely struggle with and i have to just erase and restart like that's just Frenchies for you. So anyways, now we're gonna get into the ombre and I'm just mixing up the gel um, that I mixed previously for the base color of the Frenchies. So now I'm mixing it up so that I can airbrush ombre onto the glitter nails. So yeah, I basically, I'm sure you guys are gonna wonder what the ratio was. I honestly just like to mix stuff. I don't really know, but I will say like everything was equal parts. So I did all of the polish first, equal parts, and then I threw in the acetone. And then also, I'm sure you guys have saw this too if you've been online. A lot of people are saying not to mix acetone with gel um, when you're doing the airbrush. In my opinion, I have a ventilation booth, I have gloves, I have a mask, I'm not airbrushing on other people, so like I'm not inhaling anything and neither is anyone else. So I just take every absolute, every, <laughs> I can't even talk today, every safety precaution that I can and I just go from there. Like. I have not experienced anything like any health side effects or anything like with gel um, touching my skin like contact dermatitis. I haven't um, had any of that, but I believe it is because I wear gloves, I have a ventilation booth, I have a mask, like I have all of that. So definitely if you are going to airbrush, I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting some kind of ventilation system just so that way you're not inhaling that acetone because if you don't, you're definitely gonna inhale it. Before I had this booth, um, yeah, the acetone and that mixture used to just like sit right there where you're spraying and it was not sucked in. So then, yeah, that it was like kind of burning my eyes and stuff when I used to do it like that. So I got that ventilation system so quick <laughs> because I knew I wanted to airbrush and I, I love to teach airbrush. Oh my gosh, it's so fun once you get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, so anyways, get a ventilation booth if you're going to be airbrushing. I highly, highly recommend it. Take care of yourself, uh, take care of your health, and yeah, just be safe. <laughs> be safe. <laughs>
So it's time to add bling, my favorite part ever. And it's actually become even more of a favorite because I just found this bling gel. Okay, I have been very, very, very loyal to Zule bling adhesive and it is still one of my favorites, but it's hard to use if you're one, a beginner, two if you are doing like a really intricate design with like bling and caviar beads um or just like all kinds of different sizes of bling it's it's kind of hard to use because you don't have the time to move stuff around and play with it so i we all know that i use a prey tips and I was actually just like browsing their site when I was re-upping my, um, my tips. Oh, hold on really quick before I talk about this. Let me just tell you what's going on in the video. So if this ever happens to you and you get like um, a little piece of the like sticky putty on the nail and then it like cures with the gel, this is how I remove it. I just go ahead and grab that uh, file and I file it down just a little bit and then file the inside of the nail. And then if you just buff the side of the nail and then again buff the bottom part, it completely is gone. You don't have to redo it, nothing. Um, it happens to me quite often actually, but it's, it's usually just with like the smaller, the pinky nails and stuff. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like, I don't know why I feel like I have to burp. It's not coming out. Anyway, as I was saying, I have been very, very loyal to Zule Bling Adhesive. I'm still very loyal. I will still always have Zule Bling Adhesive in my room, <laughs> in my nail area. Um, and But I was on a prey and they do this little rewards program where you get like freebies and stuff, which is super cool. So when I was ordering, they had uh, a free gel polish, like I believe it was with any order. So I got that. And then on my rewards, it also had a free um, like mini gel kit, which I got that too. So I got some really, really pretty new colors, uh, like a nude, a pink, and then a maroon or like burgundy color. So I'm going to show you guys those um, pretty soon here too because I have a swatch video coming which is going to be like my top 10 nudes. I'm literally all over the place right now you guys. This is how my mind thinks. Anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying. I got diamond gel from Apre. Um, I've never really been into bling like gel because the ones that I have used in the past were kind of like either watery or like the stone still moved like I just I didn't get a good feeling and then I would also get um, like a lot of stones popping off like when I actually took clients and I did acrylic nails so I just I found Zule's glue and I never left <laughs> um, but yeah so I got the Apre bling or diamond gel and it has oh my gosh it has been amazing like the amount of bling that I can get done and like have time and play with and like have fun with it I'm making so many sets it's so fun so anyways right here I am going to go ahead and start applying the bling um, it's just kind of self-explanatory when it comes to bling I just put a little a few little drops of the Zule and then I just go at it so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch since I have been rambling a lot on this video I just really 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 miss making videos and just like talking to you guys I love when you guys respond or talk back or like request things or ask questions like it truly truly helps me to help you so thank you guys so much for sticking around and staying long enough to actually see me do what I'm here to do and help you guys um, it's definitely been a journey I have made I have four beautiful children beautiful girls 
um, and I have just been like, you know, creating and raising my family. And now that all my girls, three of my girls are in school and my baby is on an amazing schedule now, I am able to finally get back to where I was and help and create and like just get back into the groove of things. So truly, 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 I appreciate you guys for sticking around or even just barely finding videos and you know subscribing if i can help you in any way shape or form i'm here to help you can always message me on here you can always dm me on instagram TikTok, anything um i i always respond i had some issues in the past with like um messages being lost i'm not sure why but i just recently like fixed a lot of stuff on my Instagram so if you guys have any questions or anything definitely feel free to ask I am here to help I want to help I want to watch you guys succeed and I just honestly I love teaching I love it so much it's so fun and I have gone through so many different things and like taught myself so many different things because you know people can be like like they don't want to help other people which you know it really sucks when that happens because a lot almost everything that i have learned on here i have taught myself um since the beginning and there's a couple other youtubers that i actually like i really really love um one of which is nail slayed by val press on nail slayed by val i love her so much i have been talking to her actually since like before the pandemic when we first started our businesses and just to like watch her grow and see her like teach everybody as well like i absolutely love it and i um I just love her <laughs> she is the sweetest thing ever so yeah if um, I can also help and uh, show you guys like you know you guys can do it too and that's all it is like believe in yourself and you can do it so yeah that's really it that was my talk for the day I'm gonna get into the um, 3d bling flower or 3d gel flowers now and then I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly if you want an in-depth video step by step it's coming okay it's coming and then I also um, let me know down below too what else you guys want to learn how to make not just flowers let's have fun with this 3d bling Okay, so that is the 3D gel that I'm going to be using. It's from Amazon and it came with, I believe, five different colors. Um, I'll link it down below. And then I also have another one that I got and I actually have not even used it yet. This is actually the only color 
I think I've used this and like I have a light pink color that I made pink flowers with once um, but I have yet to use any other color I have green blue red black like every color and literally white flowers are always what is purchased or wanted <laughs> so yeah we're definitely gonna be playing with the other colors so really quick I always use a alcohol pad um, because the alcohol helps the 3d gel like sticky and like it's easier to mold so I like to make sure that I get the gel like the gel kind of wet with the alcohol I used to have a spray bottle and that was a lot easier I need to get a new one I don't have one but if you have like a spray alcohol you could definitely just spray it and that helps too and then um, yeah so then it makes it like a little bit more sticky and then easier to mold so that is one little tip one little trick I like to do and then I just like put each piece I like roll out all of the balls prior to molding it and that way I have like everything done and then I can just work so each little bead right here is gonna be a petal so I just have them all sitting right there and then while I'm letting them sit I'm gonna go ahead and clean my little tool with the alcohol but I'm also gonna use that alcohol to like keep on wetting that so that way it makes it really easy to mold um, <clears throat> it just it really really helps if you struggle with 3d gel or if like you've ever had the issue where the little beads keep falling off the nail or popping off the nail that um, the alcohol really really helps so yeah I just like mold it into place I just kept looking at like the flower that was requested and I just played with it and that's again the best thing about 3d gel is it's not done until you're done <laughs> until you cure it so it's really really fun it's really cool and yeah you could just mold it um, move all the little like just move it around it's really really fun so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys watch um, as I finish up this flower
guys if you made it this far thank you so much it truly means everything to me um all i want to do is help you guys i would love to be here to answer questions um i feel like youtube is a lot easier in that sense because you can actually have like a conversation um as far as like me talking to you it's kind of hard like when you have to text and stuff in like instagram but yeah i absolutely love youtube i love being able to help you guys if you have any questions let me know down below i can answer i can do a q a soon um but yeah this is what the nails look like on my customer so cute so pretty i just oh my gosh that 3d flower is just it's so pretty i can't wait to teach you guys more thanks guys bye